Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where we were going to create a new table from multiple tables. So the scenario that we are having is something like this. We have let's say these multiple tables. Now in this case we have owner table 1, owner table 2, owner table 3 and 4 and we want to combine everything into one or we want to append the value of one below the another right so there is an option within the power query that we can do that using the append uh, option or you know even in the front end dax you can do it so what i'm going to show is the dax option as to how you can utilize it for your advantage and create one single table based on these multiple values or multiple basically uh, tables that we are having okay so if this is a scenario and you are looking for solution that you then you are at the right place okay so couple of informations first if you need this workbook the instruction is present in the description on how to get it also i keep all of my videos in a easy to find or easy to use google spreadsheet that way I have posted 300 plus videos and uh, you can easily come search using the video title and jump onto the video using the video link. This will going to help you easily search all my videos because searching it on the YouTube by looking at the channel videos is not possible. Also you can keep it um, you know, as part of your bookmark so that you can reference it whenever you need any of my project, any of my how to videos or tips and tricks. Okay. So with that information, what we can do is uh, we can come back and last but not the least is data set. If you are following my projects and like hospital dashboard, project management dashboard and things like so project like those. So you can basically utilize it. Link is also in the description. OK, so we are over here creating the new table. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and click on the so this is basically your table view and uh, you can click on the new table right and uh, this new table will help us produce this one piece okay so this one um, we will call it uh, this is a second scenario so I will say 2.1 unique uh, unique owners table yeah unique owner table is equals to so that is also the one one other thing is you want only the unique values out of it right combining only the unique value that means if it is getting repeated in another table well you don't need that okay so what we're going to use is the distinct alt enter then we will use something called as union function which helps us you know produce this output alt enter and we will say select columns okay and we will choose the table one okay and uh, in this case we will choose the column owner right and uh, we will say the uh, so what is the table what is the name and uh, that is our owner right so this is the column that we have provided so that becomes our first sim put a comma all enter and say select column again right and uh, this will be in this case table 2 the column will still be owner right and in this case this will be the owner column right so this is the name column name that we are giving and this is what we are uh, specifying it as the column so alt enter third time same thing and uh, this time the table third right owner is what we are giving the name and owner is the column from the third one so make sure first second third and last but not the least is your select columns and uh, table number four and in this case owner and uh, table number four owner and we are done alt enter close it alt enter close it we are good right and uh, i'll just go ahead and enter it and this is what i am going to get all my owners into the one single table and that too only the distinct values because we have used the distinct function right so i hope this has helped you uh, for the solution that you were looking for in the front end like i was saying back end also it is present but it is it does not give you the option of using the distinct 
However, you can once you append it, you can apply the transformation of distinct values. Okay, so that is something is also possible if you are using if you are using the Power Query. I have posted many videos on that, so you can look for those Power Query append video, distinct video, in in that uh, Google Sheet that I shared and get the desired output. Okay, so with that information, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this session and, and finally got your solution. Now I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.